Step back 4,500 years and witness the astonishing construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Discover how ancient engineers and countless workers transformed massive stones into one of history's greatest mysteries. The story of the Great Pyramid of Giza begins more than 45 centuries ago when the ancient Egyptians set out to build a monument unlike anything the world had ever seen. It was a project that would stretch human ingenuity to its limits. And redefine what a civilization could achieve. Before a single stone was moved, skilled surveyors walked across the Giza plateau, carefully measuring the landscape. With ropes, wooden stakes, and simple geometry, they leveled the desert floor to prepare a perfect platform in which the entire pyramid would stand for thousands of years. In nearby quarries, Teams of stonecutters carved massive limestone blocks from the earth, working day and night with copper chisels, pounding stones, and incredible patience. Every strike shaped the foundation of a monument destined to survive empires. Thousands of workers dragged heavy limestone blocks across the desert on wooden sledges. Keep it tight. Race the sled. Ready the ramp. Winds in our favor, Captain. Then we sail straight to the temple. Pouring water in the sand to reduce friction. This simple technique transformed an impossible task into a coordinated feat of human strength and engineering. Craftsmen spent countless hours smoothing and adjusting each stone so that it would fit perfectly with its neighbors. The Great Pyramid demanded precision that rivaled modern construction. Yet, it was achieved with tools no more advanced than copper and wood surveyors, marked out the pyramid's footprint using astonishingly accurate geometry. Its base was aligned almost perfectly with true north, a level of precision that continues to astonish engineers and scientists. Today, workers began laying the first layers of limestone, carefully adjusting each block until the foundation was strong enough to support millions of tons of stone. Every joint and seam was designed to bear unimaginable weight. Dust kicking up, eyes sharp. Drive it, nearly there. Platform in sight. Sleds on, brace. Hold set. That's it. As the base grew, more teams carved smoother limestone to be used as the outer casing. These bright white stones were polished so finely that the pyramid would one day shine like a star in the desert sun. Far to the south in Aswan, enormous granite beams were cut from the mountains and transported hundreds of kilometers along the Nile. These stones, some weighing more than 50 tons, were destined for the heart of the pyramid. When the granite arrived in Giza, workers transferred the blocks onto wooden sledges and dragged them across the desert. The journey required teamwork, coordination, and sheer physical endurance. As the pyramid rose, engineers expanded the construction ramps, allowing stones to be hauled upward with teams of men pulling in unison Overseers shouted commands, keeping the rhythm steady as each block climbed higher. The ramp system grew more complex with every layer, a constantly evolving structure designed to keep pace with the rising monument. Without cranes or iron tools, ramps were the lifeline of the project. Surveyors checked the alignment of each new course of stone even a slight error could twist the pyramid off its axis, so constant measurement ensured that the structure remained perfectly symmetrical. Cornerstones were placed with unbelievable accuracy, anchoring the geometry of the pyramid. 
These stones acted like the edges of a giant three-dimensional blueprint. Polishing teams prepared the gleaming white casing stones, shaping them with meticulous care. When the pyramid was complete, its outer surface would reflect sunlight so intensely that it could be seen from miles away. Inside the structure, workers built the king's chamber using enormous granite blocks. Raising those beams into position is considered one of the most impressive engineering achievements in human history. Architects supervised every detail inside the pyramid, calculating weight distribution, angling passageways, and designing chambers that would remain intact for eternity. Long passageways were carved through the stone, leading deep into the internal chambers. These corridors were straight to an accuracy of centimeters, astonishing for workers using only simple tools. Ventilation shafts were cut with extreme precision, connecting the inner chambers to the sky. Their true purpose remains a mystery, inspiring endless theories among scholars. Outside, more limestone blocks continued to arrive. Workers organized assembly lines to move the stones upward, passing them from team to team along the expanding ramps. As the pyramid grew taller, ramps were extended and reinforced, climbing upward in a massive spiral. Each day, hundreds of stones traveled the ramps like a continuous river of rock. Surveyors check the angle of the pyramid slope, ensuring that all sides rose at the same perfect inclination. This angle gave the monument both its shape and its structural strength. Casing stones were shaped into exact triangles, designed to meet seamlessly along the edges. A finished pyramid would have looked more like a smooth geometric jewel than the stepped structure we see today. Inside the chambers, workers built corbelled ceilings by placing stones slightly forward with each layer. This created arch-like structures capable of supporting the colossal weight above survey teams repeatedly measured all four sides of the pyramid's base, marveling at how perfectly their work aligned with the original design. Their accuracy continues to be studied by modern engineers. More granite beams were hauled upward, each requiring immense effort. Teams worked in perfect coordination, using levers, pulleys and human muscle to lift the stones into the king's chamber ramp, workers constantly rebuilt and smoothed the rising pathways. Without this maintenance, construction would have slowed to a crawl under the weight of millions of stones. The outer casing stones were polished until they shone like glass, creating a surface so bright that ancient writers said the pyramid glowed with sunlight. Workers carried baskets of mortar up the ramps, supplying the materials needed to lock each stone securely in place. Every block was adjusted with remarkable patience. Inside the passages, final measurements were carved to maintain the perfect angles required by the architects. Even the narrowest corridors were designed with symbolic and structural meaning. As the structure neared its final height, ramps grew steeper and narrower. Workers moved slower, but maintained the same rhythm determined to reach the summit. Skilled artisans placed the upper cornerstones, continuing the laser-like precision that defined the entire construction. Lever systems were used more frequently at higher levels, allowing workers to lift stones with carefully balanced counterweights. Outer casing stones near the top were shaped and polished, creating a smooth slope that would reflect golden sunlight across the desert. Inside the Great Pyramid of Giza, workers inspected the king's chamber, adjusting and smoothing the granite to ensure flawless structural stability. Ventilation shafts were refined, 
carved straight through limestone toward the stars. Some believe these shafts aligned with specific constellations worshipped by the Egyptians. Ramp crews strengthened the pathways each morning, ensuring sledges could travel safely to the upper levels, even under heavy loads. Huge limestone blocks continued their journey toward the summit, carried by teams of workers who had become experts in coordination and timing. Inside the pyramid, final blocks were positioned to complete the internal corridor system, sealing areas meant to remain untouched forever. The capstones were shaped with extraordinary care, designed to crown the top of the pyramid. Ancient texts suggest they may once have been covered in gold. Polishing crews worked on the uppermost casing stones, ensuring that even the highest layers gleamed brightly in the sun. As the apex neared completion, workers placed the final stones with ceremonial precision, completing the most famous silhouette in human history. Surveyors took one final set of measurements confirming that the pyramid's geometry was executed with stunning accuracy, rarely matched even today. Builders locked granite beams into high chambers, forming durable ceilings capable of holding thousands of tons of stone. Ramps were expanded to reach the very peak of the Great Pyramid of Giza, marking the last and most challenging stage of construction. The final apex block was lifted into place, symbolizing the completion of decades of labor and devotion by tens of thousands of workers. Polishers finished the top stones, creating a radiant point that would shine across the desert for centuries. Overseers inspected every chamber, corridor and outer surface, ensuring the entire monument met the precise vision of the royal architects. Scaffolding was removed layer by layer, revealing the smooth, polished surface of the finished pyramid. Workers cleared debris from the site, shaping the environment around the pyramid into ceremonial courtyards and pathways. Artisans decorated nearby temples, carving inscriptions that celebrated the pharaoh and honored the gods who guided the construction. Final inspections confirmed the structural integrity of all internal rooms, ensuring the monument could withstand earthquakes and centuries of storms. Granite beams inside the king's chamber were reinforced, creating a chamber designed to last until the end of time. The last workers polished the outer casing stones until the pyramid glowed white under the Egyptian sun, a beacon of light on the horizon. Ramps were dismantled entirely, revealing the true geometric perfection of the Great Pyramid of Giza for the first time. Workers gathered together, gazing at the finished monument towering above them, knowing they had created something eternal. As the sun set across the desert, the pyramid cast long golden shadows, transforming the landscape into a scene of timeless majesty. Desert winds whispered along the polished limestone, carrying the first stories and legends of the monument that would become the last surviving ancient wonder travelers from distant lands saw the finished Great Pyramid of Giza and stood in awe, unable to comprehend how humans built such an extraordinary structure. Temples, causeways and smaller pyramids completed the majestic complex, turning Giza into a sacred city of stone. Inside the passages, faint beams of sunlight revealed the silent precision of the chambers deep within the pyramid's heart. From the apex to the base, the Great Pyramid of Giza stood as a flawless expression of mathematics, astronomy, engineering and human ambition. In the distance, the Nile River flowed steadily, reminding visitors that without its waters, not a single stone could have reached this sacred plateau. And as centuries passed, the Great Pyramid of Giza endured through wars, storms and empires, 
standing as the greatest testament to human ingenuity.